Chester Bennington attempted to drown himself nine months before he committed suicide by hanging. In November 2016, according to TMZ, the former frontman for Lincoln Park got drunk, tied himself up and jumped in his swimming pool. He eventually changed his mind and was able to free himself and surface, as reported by his widow Talia Bennington to the Los Angeles County Coroner. Related articles Meghan Markle once wanted to be more like Ivanka Trump TV tonight, Aisha Curry on Great American Baking Show, Dilbert creator Scott Adams talks new book and why he backs Donald Trump Alice in Winterland postponed due to John Mayer's emergency surgery Beyonce's Bay Hive comes to her defense after Tommy Lahren's criticism The information was originally part of the coroner's report on Bennington's July 20 suicide, but was redacted following a request from Talon Da Bennington's lawyer, Ed McPherson, according to TMZ. McPherson contacted the coroner's lawyer and argued that the 2016 incident was protected by marital privilege. TMZ reports that the coroner's office was split over the decision to redact the information, with some arguing that marital privilege does not exist. It was not the only time that Bennington had suicidal tendencies. According to the coroner's report, Bennington had been drinking heavily in 2006 and threatened to kill himself before leaving with a gun. That passage was not redacted. Released Tuesday, the autopsy and toxicology results showed that Bennington, 41, had a trace amount of alcohol in his system when he died at his Palos Verdes estate's residence. Authorities found a prescription bottle of Zolpedum, the generic name for Ambien, on his dresser. There was also a pint glass of Corona beer, which was less than half full, and an empty bottle of Stella Artois. Bennington had reportedly told friends that he had been sober for six months. Talon Da Bennington had also told police that Bennington had been prescribed antidepressants in the past but had not taken them for more than a year.